I'm so happy we could get out of the heat, away from that sheriff. Who does he think he is anyways? He'd spit water all over me. He could give me some sort of bat disease. Speaking of being spitting on old man, I'm pretty smitten on you, Sally. Um, thanks, Shane. What's the sheriff's problem anyways? You know, I think he just needs a nice lady friend to guide him in the right direction. You know who else needs a nice lady friend? Oh, give it up, Shane. You've been trying this for months. Come on, one more. Hey, Sally, are you Wi-Fi? Because I'm feeling the connection. What's Wi-Fi? Well, hey it's, that, it's that thing, you know. Hey, guys. You know, I don't think that's problem. a thing, Shane. You darn people! What's the problem, old man? Over there! Look who that is! They're funny looking. Hey! Who are you? Hey! Get back here! Oh, man. Are, are you guys deaf? Did you not see who that was? Does someone need his man bed for chat? Are you? Boy, that's enough! Fine, fine. But did you guys not see who that was? I don't know. They're probably just travelers or something. For the third time, it was What is this, the bad guys? Uh, we should get them. <laughs> what about Shane? What about Shane? Uh, Sheriff, where? I knew they'd leave without me. Don't worry, I brought you a purse. What? Why? Follow me, Shane. Shane! This is an amazing picnic, Miss Sally. Why, thank you. It was so nice to get away from Shane. Mm hmm. Did you hear that? Did what? Did. Did you say it's coffee? Oh, what a great idea. Let's head back. Yeah, okay, I guess. Let's head back. My dear Recluse, I know we've only known each other for a short while, but it was a beautiful time we had together. And Clarence is gonna be so mad that I didn't invite him. But that doesn't matter. Goodbye, Recluse. I know Muffle will die, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Sometimes I wonder, what's, what's the point doing anything if in the end I'm guaranteed to end up in a grave? Anyways, that's a nice story. Did you hear that story about the baby deer? We are getting off task. We need Wait. to focus on what's important here. Who are we looking for again? The guys who are anti-good. Wait, why are we looking for them if they're good guys? No. Looking for bad guys. There you go. Wait, I think I heard a sign coming from over there. Hurry up, you're walking as slow as you think. Oh, come on, I'm not that dumb. Uh, I'm not really convinced yet. Hey, look, over there. I think that's the house where the criminals are. Actually, 
about the cow? That's no cow. That's the sheriff. What is he doing? Wait. Why is he dressed as a cow? Did he investigate? Nay. Maybe we should investigate behind this house or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's going to harm to check this out. Okay, wait before. Calm down. That's just a normal dead person. You're overreacting. Are you just gonna ignore the fact that there's a dead body over there, right there? I did. I acknowledged it, but the moment has passed. Well, should we tell someone or tell or see the sheriff or something? Ah! Um, I think we should actually look around and see if anyone's nearby. Well, in the meantime, what should we talk about? Because the only thing I can think about is that. Well, it appears that they've been shot, and they're not immune to bullets, and they're dead. If I shot you, you as well would not be immune to bullets. That might be the first smart thing you've said. Haha, <laughs> you're very funny. Anyways, uh, let's take a look around. I guess we can just look around. For the record, you're very cold towards that dead person. Well, I prioritize my worry. If the killer is still nearby, we could easily be in danger. You're worried about the killer? What about that? He got shot. I don't want to be next. You want to hear a joke? If it's about ice, then no. It's a bit of a frigid situation at the moment. Oh, okay then. Anyways, I diagnosed that guy with a dead. Very informative, huh? What are we going to do now? Uh, let's look around to see if we can find any more clues to their whereabouts. Why should we? That's not our job anyways. Are you kidding me? We're just gonna go home now, after we found the dead body, instead of looking around to find more clues to find out uh, about where they are! Well, yeah, I'm starving. Wait, wait, I think I hear someone. Shut your whining up and listen. I don't care if there's a killer over there. I'm hungry. They're not looking to do good things. Their cautious is cold. Cold as ice. Wait. If, if they see us, well, they're going to kill us. Think, Catherine. Think. Wait. I, I see a freebie over there. So. Oh. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let, we have to look around to see if we can find something. Thought about where they may be, or are you still hungry? Wait, I think I see something over there. Where? Right, right over there. Look, over there. Where was that? Let's investigate. What in the yellow belly, great blessed oil the heck are you doing, Sharif? None of your business, Richard. But this is Bruce. He's like you to me. He's helped me along the way. Well, Sally, what do you suppose we do about this? Well, I think we need everybody here first before we decide. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Who do you think's gonna get here first? Well, Arthur's pretty lazy. I'm surprised he's not here already. I'm surprised he left at all. Oh, no way, no way. Richard, that guy's coming next. I bet you five bucks Arthur will be next. Oh. I bet you my ranch. Bill! Let's go. You're so
so dumb. Get out, get out, get out. Technically, you're the one imagining me. Look what you did to me. Well, technically, you did that to yourself. I thought you said this guy was smart, Sally. Well, he's still a sheriff, isn't he? That's right. I am the sheriff. Well, Sally, looks like you lost. Hand it over. Fine. Wait! We were both wrong. Get <coughs> Come on! 